Waiting. Oh, I'm live. Hey, hey, what's up, viewers of the tube? That was YouTube's fault. <laughs> so I was talking for about five minutes, you know, just chatting to myself. <laughs> I'm here, you guys. Chill, man. Welcome to the stream, everybody, and happy 4th of July. If you didn't hear me say that, I hope you're eating some hamburgers, hot dogs, drinking some brewskis, doing, you know, doing America, hanging out with Fan Bam. Musher Manzur, thanks for the tip already, man. I appreciate it. Hey, hey, what's up? JK NoCal, Marco, Diegme Diode, Health of Nations Consulting. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Um, taking your 4th of July to spend it with me an hour or so. I got a crazy um, stream today, so I'm going to be digging into one of the biggest crypto scandals to hit. Um, I mean, if you saw the dip where we went down from the 9,200 bullish range um, to where we are now, I think it's a product of this. Um, and yeah, shit's about to get crazy. But first, before we get into that, um, definitely follow me on my new social media outlets since I was wrongfully kicked off of Twitter um, for using a tweet on their plat or using a GIF on their platform. Um, and they kicked me off for using one of their gifts embedded into their platform. But yeah, I'm on Twitch, which is um, Bitcoin SV's version of Twitter. I am on it because it is like Twitter. I can do the similar posts and stuff. I'm also on more centralized version, um, Instagram. I'm actually thinking about doing some live stuff on Instagram TV um, here soon. So tune in for that. Um, but I do want to let you guys know there is a scammer with Chico Crypto, like Crypto, the other YouTuber. Mine is Chico Crypto, no zero. Um, this guy is a scammer, so if you would kindly report him, report him. He's trying to trick people into sending him crypto. Yo, Papa Whoop, thank you <laughs> for the generous, generous tip. And someone actually sent me a hot dog. That is awesome. I don't even see your name either. Jim Beasy, my favorite part of the weekend. I'm glad that Chico's streams are your favorite part of the weekend. Uh, the streams are actually probably one of my favorite parts too. So I don't know why I'm still on this guy. Report him. He's fake. Um, this is a real Chico Crypto. I have 4,500 followers, blah, blah, blah. Um, but before I get distracted by tips... Um, I was going to be dual live streaming on Theta today, but unfortunately things didn't work out. Um, I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, they had some stuff going on, so didn't meet up to get a stream key. Um, but next weekend I will be dual streaming on Theta. So if you want to watch me on there, definitely do that. Oh, Diego Arce, RK or Arce Ace, I'll call you Ace. When Ethereum staking, any words on Maker? Don't forget Loom. Um, Ethereum staking is going to take some time. I mean, the beacon chain is getting ready. I would say by the end of the year, we will have initial staking. Definitely. If we don't, I'm going to be very upset. Just for the best. Keep going, my man. CLSLM. You're the man, dude. And then Retflaw Duran. Dude, just throw me $5 tips. I like it, you guys. You don't have to do it. I'm actually going to show you where you should be putting your money, um... Not to me, but to another cause. And we'll get into that in a second. So crypto markets all around looking just okay. I mean, holding on to a thread. But let's get into what this is about, the scandal. So I'm sure you guys remember my video yesterday about Zhao Dong. Um, large, large investor in Bitfinex. Um, personally knows the big dogs. Gian, Vos, Gian VC Dion Car, or I can't even say his name. Gian VC Dion Carlo or something like that. Well, he was arrested, and this is big because he is a big Bitfinex investor, and he does facilitate a lot of the OTC deals going on over in China through, you know, the Rogue 100 I've showed. I mean, there's a lot of corruption going on money laundering through China, not only with Chinese citizens, but with Americans and Europeans and Indians and, yeah, you know, it Russians. It's, it's a big business over there. I'm not shitting you guys. Oh, inside the fire, much of the Bitcoin hash rate comes from electricity generated on the Yangtze River. That river is now flooding, and Three Rivers Gorge Dam might break. How would such an event affect the health of the Bitcoin network? 
Um, I don't think it would have. It's a good question, and I appreciate the generous tip, man. You do not have to do that. Um, I mean, it would affect Bitcoin in the short term, but I mean, there is so much cheap electricity in China and all around that. I mean, eventually they're just going to go somewhere else. Um, that's what happens every time. I mean, we've seen some crackdown on Bitcoin in some regions in China, and all they do is just go to another one. It's it's what's going to happen. Um, but this is important, you guys. So Bitfinex, 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 Binance, 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 money being moved over to China to OTC break brokers. Um through the exchanges, I mean, I showed it. It's a complex web thing. I wish I could make a clear chart of how it works, but that's pretty much impossible. But this is interesting. So I'm going to get into some crazy stuff, you guys. So Ghislaine Maxwell, right-hand woman of Jeffrey Epstein, she was arrested, she was put in custody, and stuff is going to start coming out. Um, supposedly, she was put in the same jail that Jeffrey Epstein was. I hope that is just a rumor, but that's what I read last night. I haven't looked into it if that's true. Um, Stephen McCoy, my opinion on Amisego, please. Thanks. It's all right. I held some back in the day. I might still have some in a dust and a wallet, but I'm not like super, super bullish on it. Lots of lots of delays. So this is interesting. So why is the rest of her very interesting? Well, she does have connections with a lot of people. But this is where it gets super interesting and the connections come back and you start to see everything. So here is the council representing Bitfinex in New York. As we can see, it's Stuart Hogner. So yeah, okay, Hogner. Oh, what's this doing up there? Get out of there. So, here is Jeffrey Epstein, part of the Lifeboat Foundation, of course, right-hand woman of Ghislaine Maxwell. Well, who joined the, board, uh, the Lifeboat Foundation as their general counsel in 2013? Stuart Hogner did. Okay. And also, the Lifeboat Foundation has a Bitcoin endowment fund. And it's been going on for a while now. I'd say since 2013, maybe before that. I mean, the partners right here, you can see it's old school. Bitcoin Foundation, Bitcoin Magazine, say fellow. I mean, and then you check out board members. It still has Vitalik Buterin listed out as board member. I mean, it, is he still a board member? So, yeah, Jeff, stuff shady going on here. So, here's the thing, you know, Jeffrey Epstein was one of the people to start this Bitcoin stuff with um, Lifeboat Foundation and creating the fund. I mean, this is 2017, right before the peak of the bubble. This was a, um, a article put out by Cointelegraph basically boasting about Jeffrey Epstein. And Bitcoin bursting with potential, says billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. They mentioned, yeah, that he was a sex offender, but they, oh, that don't matter. He's, he's a billionaire. He loves it. Great. Okay. So this is where stuff gets kind of interesting. So here's the strange saga of Jeffrey Epstein's link to a child star turned cryptocurrency mogul, Rock Pierce. There's um not... So correct things that I'm sure they got a season desist letter from Brock Pierce for that I will cover so I don't get one from Brock. But analysis of fraud, fact, and fiction concerning allegations against Brock and sexual abuse. There is no definite proof that Brock has played with little children. So that was basically what they sent in the season desist letter for. Um, but this is interesting. Nothing regarding Brock. I mean, as we know, Brock is one of the original creators of Tether. He started it. I mean, he had Noble Bank. I mean, you know all the shady stuff going down. Oh, Hagbop Balerian. I like that name. Hagop Balerian. I just want to thank you for your hard work. I just want to thank you for that tip and being here. Um, being here for this content because I think it's important. Probably going to be on the only one talking about it. Um, so... I appreciate you, man. So basically, it says, the Wall Street Journal has reported that Epstein claimed that he worked 
for the U.S. Treasury Department on cryptocurrency. So yes, there are connections there. And then 2010, you guys, this is where stuff gets weird. This, I mean, a lot of conspiracy theories regarding this, QAnon stuff, connect back to um, this conference, the MindShift conference in 2010. MIT, a bunch of large, powerful people joined, but also there was one interesting person regarding crypto, Brock Pierce. So, this is what's pretty interesting, is that MindShift conference, again, like I'm saying, it's covered um, in the book, Filthy Rich, say, it says right here, it was an odd thing, Epstein's association with self-professed PhD, who on closer inspection, turned out to be a bit of a grifter, but the MindShift conference that Epstein and Seckel hosted in the Virgin Islands did take place in 2010. Murray Gell Mann was there along with Leonard Midlino, a physicist who co-authored books with Stephen Hawking, Gerald Sussman, an expert on artificial intelligence who taught at MIT and also attended the conference. I mean, big, big players, you guys. So, basically, here we get into the treasury stuff. So, Epstein had connections to the Treasury regarding cryptocurrency. So, Mr. Epstein's long spoke of having other sources of income. This is from a Wall Street Journal article. Including a currency trading business that earned tens of millions of dollars, according to a person familiar with the matter. The person said Mr. Epstein also claimed to work for the U.S. Treasury Department on cryptocurrency and anti-hacking efforts. And told people he worked with sovereign wealth funds, including some in the Middle East, helping them move money and find assets. So what is going on with the U.S., you know, the, tre the Treasury? You know, who was he working with? So this is a connection right back to this is going to wreck some QAnon people. Um, I mean, that's QAnon stuff is stupid. It's basically them getting you to support the Republicans by getting all the conspiracy theorists round up together. I mean, if you look deep... <laughs> Mnuchin has connections to Epstein and one of Epstein's right-hand women's. Um, that's our current Secretary of Treasury. But this goes back to, you know, not only, you know, what our current administration, it goes back farther. Um, so this was actually after Epstein was arrested, and this is pretty interesting. It said in this article from The Atlantic, it says, Epstein is now locked up with the judge agreeing Monday with prosecutors that he posed a flight risk. But later Monday evening, Trump hosted a dinner at the Treasury Department for Qatari Emir Sheikh Tanim bin Hamad Al Thani. Among the attendees was Robert Kraft, the New England Patriots owner who faces prostitution charges in connection with human trafficking bust in Florida. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Trump's in on it. I'll tell you that. Um, he's shitting his pants because Ghislaine Maxwell's arrested right now. But you know what Qatar is about, the guy who heads this. I mean, he's big on human trafficking. Five-year prison sentence set for fake news. This just literally came out this year. Um, wife jailed Qatari royal. There are no human rights in Qatar. I don't know why Trump is having him. But this is where the Treasury, you know, connection started. It wasn't with Trump. It goes all the way back. So political connections of Jeffrey Epstein, of course, Trump, Clinton, um, Dershowitz, Woody Allen, Prince Andrew, Mort Zuckerman, Leslie Waxner, Lawrence Krauss, Kenneth Starr. But here is the one we're interested in, Lawrence H. Summers, because he's the one who basically gave Epstein his power in the Treasury because he was... Treasury Secretary with Clinton. And as we know, Lawrence H. Summers is an advisor for a large Bitcoin firm. Large, large Bitcoin firm. One of the most powerful in the space. Who is it? It is Digital Currency Group, led by Barry Silbert, also with Glenn Hutchins of the Federal Bank of New York on the board. And here's Summers. Hey, Summy boy. How's it going? So yeah, I mean, if you know what Digital Currency Group, they're invested in a large, a lot, lot, a lot of large cryptocurrencies: Bitcoin, Decentraland, Classic, Filecoin, Handshake, Hedera, Horizon, Light, Pure Ocean, Reserve, Rootstock, Stacks, and Zcash. Um, I'm going now. I'm going, guys. I know I haven't even read this. Happy Fourth of July, Mother Truckers. That is all. I love it, Maddie G. Happy Fourth to you, brother. 
So basically, you see, digital currency, they got their paws in crypto, and they got their paws deep. I mean, deep, deep. These are lots of lists that are invested in. It goes on and on. Coinbase, Coinhouse, Coin... I mean, Safello, there's that one. Going way back. I mean, here's Safello. And now, let's go back to Lifeboat Foundation. Their Bitcoin Endowment Fund. Say fello, hey, that's funny, <laughs> isn't it? So, you guys, what the point I'm getting trying to get across is both of these guys are involved in it. Obama's administration had Lawrence Summers on there. Trump, Mnuchin, they're in on it. Trump visited the island on the Lolita Express multiple times, more than Joe Biden probably did. Um, he wasn't there to investigate, I'll tell you that. So, I mean, when you think of things at this election, and I'm probably going to get hated on from YouTube for doing this, but I don't care if someone needs to do it, because no one's talking about it. Everyone's just talking about this or that. Like, there's no other way to decide, you guys. So, we got a giant douche. I don't know which one we consider it. And a turd sandwich. Do you have to vote for the giant douche or the turd sandwich for 2020? Do you? Do you really? No, you don't, because we got another choice, you guys. It. We are land of the free. We've never been free, you guys. Never. Not ever. And I hope, I hope she can do it. Yeah, so I'm about to wreck to the Trump heads in here who think they're all about, like, liberties and everything. Joe Jorgensen wants to abolish the ATF. And she wants to let you have belt-fed machine guns, you guys. <laughs> uh, if you, yeah. Um, come on. <laughs> yeah, idiots. That's all I gotta say. So, you can. There is a third choice, you guys. Vote for Joe Jorgensen. Um, I'm endorsing her 100%, if you can't tell. Um, there's a third choice. And I don't think she's going to win, you guys. It's probably, she's not going to win. But there is a chance if she gets a percentage of the votes, that next election, the Libertarians will be on the debate stage. Oh, my God. Thank you. The th two-party system. We need it destroyed. This is what tears America apart. Let's do it. And I hate people who say a third vote is a no vote. So I actually donated to Joe. Um, that's what I was going to say. Don't be throwing your tips to me. Please throw it to a cause that's going to change America. Please. Um, I'm sick of living in this crap. I want to move, kind of, because either of the candidates get chosen. Turd sandwich or giant douche, or it's going to be bad. I'll tell you that. Um, so, yeah, throw your tips to Joe, not me, please. Uh, she needs it more than me. So there is some actually crazy stuff coming around, you know, regarding all these arrests. Um, this actually, I think, comes from the QAnon kind of conspiracy realm. This NESERA, National Economic Stability and Recovery Act. Um, it's basically a full economic reset for giving all debts and everything, which is damn crazy. Um, and they've been talking about doing that. So, ugh, I need to get to... 
the comments. See how many people. Thank you, you guys. I appreciate everyone who sees uh, what I'm trying to do. Chica, what is my percentage of accuracy? Um, I'm pretty spot on or I wouldn't be surging to the number one YouTuber. Of course, I'm not right every time and I make mistakes. I'm only human, but yeah. Trump was predicted in Back to the Future. Oh, I'm a millionaire? No, I'm not even close to a millionaire. I wish. I mean, next bull run, that's possible, but not right now. Oh, I'm shadow banned. Darn it. I knew it was going to happen. Um, I mean, the video is shadow banned, actually, before I even started streaming. So, YouTube, like, once again, let's, let's just do some proof that you're shadow banning me. I'm collecting all this proof for them. Live during streams. Yep, gone. Yay! Thank you, YouTube. I love you. <laughs> yeah, jerks. If you had to move, where would you move to? Um, somewhere Europe, um, Netherlands. I don't know. I do like Amsterdam. Oh, there's a cool place in um, Freak. I forget the country. It's like a their own little anarchy village. It's own little Chaz. Um, forget what country it's in. Jeez, can't remember. Um, yeah, this is like my fifth live stream. YouTube's done it to me in a row. Every time, it's like, come on, man. And I told them, it's happening. And they're basically like, yes, we know. <laughs> oh, but um, regarding that Nesra, um, so basically I looked into it a little bit, see if it, there was any validity. And it's, this is what got me going. It's critics consider Nesra to be a cult, pointing to the fact that Goodwin, Lee, and Nidal frequently solicited donations from their readers. They accuse these leaders to be primarily interested in securing a steady stream of income for themselves. Goodwin, who also asked readers to donate their frequent flyer miles, claimed that she needed and had to use the funds to travel to various locations around the world to secretly meet with high-level government officials about getting Nesra announced. Yeah, it sounds like <coughs> bullcrap <coughs> to me. Oh, yeah, and this one, too. Some Nestor supporters also make the claim that otherworldly beings are working to get it announced. Uh-oh. So, um, this one came out. So, an exploit in the cryptocurrency industry. Moving away from the scandal. That was basically the scandal. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it got your, your brain thinking a little bit. Um, I might do a full video investigation tying things more clearly together because, obviously, my brain works like a... I don't know, a engine going on rapid fire during my live streams. I'm back and forth, you know. Um, but getting back to crypto is um, bad Raven coin code allows attackers to generate coins without mining. Yeah, um, increase the supply, of, unfortunately, of Raven coin. I knew Raven coin was crap for a long time. It's a Binance PND. Tri it's basically Overstock's attempt at trading their own Bitcoin. I covered it in this story when I was still had short hair and drinking a brewski. But this was interesting because gelato is one of my favorite strains and I'm going to be growing it here soon. Um, Ethereum has an automation protocol called Gelato Network and it's launching on the mainnet. Not really a token. I know you guys like token, but no, it's actually just a tool. But gelato that was like cool um this was pretty cool i like these types of things seeing the DeFi vortex basically i've been saying that you know DeFi ethereum is going to be a gravity well that sucks in a lot of assets and this is what's happening you know developer grants bounties wrapped crypto assets on ramp price feeds transaction fees blocking and staking and this is only the beginning investment tokens you know from centrifuge and the like it's gonna be crazy oh whoa a hundred dollars why did you just tip me a hundred dollars nudies and geez you're the man and i like your name because it's nudies 
That's awesome, dude. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm gonna spend it on some fun Fourth of July stuff. Maybe some fireworks. Piccolo Pete bombs. Um, but yeah, regarding Ethereum, um, all it's not all good, you know. There does need a trans be a transition, not necessarily to proof stake and charting, but um. What am I thinking? Uh, roll-up technology, optimistic roll-up technology needs to be implemented across dApps and exchanges. Um, and it's going to take some time for that because they're slow to implement. It's not, it's not, it's not like it's not built. Loopring is actually employing it right now. Um, it's built. It's just you got to get them to, to do it. You know, the ones doing the most transactions are stuck on the old tech. Um, and I mean, that's even on in Bitcoin still. Some people are not even adopting SegWit. Um, but, you know, we've had one of the longest streaks of Ethereum transactions being over Bitcoin. 26-day streak so far. So it's not all good. I mean, I, I there's things about Ethereum that, hey, they need to fix, and they need to fix it fast. If they don't, other competitors can come. But I just see the development, again, on Ethereum, and it's going to be hard to beat. I mean... I mean, I see other projects carving out niches, but I don't see them becoming the, you know, gravity well. That center gravity thing that takes in all assets. Um, but good thing for Bitcoin, I don't know if this is a good thing actually, but good news headline that gets people going, oh yeah, uh, $10 billion hedge fund got SEC approved to go ahead and offer Bitcoin futures on them. They're, it's medallion funds and they're going to be from CME. So not good necessarily, but what about the Cardano listing on Coinbase? Um, it's not a Cardano listing on Coinbase. It's nice to see that getting spread, but it's just Coinbase, Coinbase custody. Um, not I don't even think here in the United States, I think it has to do with Europe, just said they're going to start allowing custody of Cardano. That does no mean, by no means mean that it's coming to the Coinbase app. I'll tell you that right now. What are your opinions on Celsius token is pumping? Thanks. Oh, so you guys, I just want to show something too. I was going to show this regarding Lifeboat Foundation. So Stuart Hogner, as we know, Fit Finex co um, Council, but he also was a good friends with some of the early guys. Here he is, Bitcoin Expo 2014 will be held April 11th, 13th, 2014 Toronto, Canada. Our David Bailey, Vitalik Buterin, Anthony DiOrio, Stuart Hogner, Charles Hoskinson, Anthony B. Levine. You get what I'm saying? Birds of a feather, nasty people, they flock together. Um, what's my opinion on... So I, no opinion, Alex. Um... Hey, there's a lot of stuff pumping right now, so I mean, we're just gonna get into that actually. Here's Theta. Um, yeah, but one of my top picks, number one coin past seven days, Kusama, my mama. Um, Kyber, another one of my top picks, number two past seven days, Elrond, ah, V Chain, ah, Bancor, ah. These look like not natural pumps to me from all three of these. Maybe Bancor. But Ave, good stuff. Celsius, there's the one you're talking about. Interesting to see. Um, I mean, they call it a DeFi pump, basically. I mean, a large majority of these coins are DeFi based. What is balancer token? I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked into it. Um, it's been in the Chico chat about a million times, and it's highly involved with DeFi. I know that, but I haven't had time to look into it. So I appreciate the tip, TD, but I can't answer that. My pooch is going talking right now. Thanks for the great vids. Any cannabis-related tokens to know about? No. Don't even get tricked by that. I mean, cannabis is industry is just going to use some of the crypto payment solutions that come out. You don't need a token for it. 
and some of the DeFi options like banking, decentralized banking, decentralized payroll, blah, 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 blah. Mr. Big Nasty 661. I appreciate your tip too, Carlos. Mr. Big Nasty 661. Thanks for sharing your great research. Second done. Put me on Kusama, Kyber, Link, QBT, iExec. Laugh out loud. The list goes on. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you, man. Uh oh. Got a train coming by. Oh, there's another balancer. You guys, I can see kind of the shill right now from it. Um, I don't really have an opinion because I don't know about it. But I appreciate your guys' tip. I just hate... One of my... If you've watched my streams before, one of the things I hate is when people tip me to look at their token. I mean, it, it's just... I mean, if I'm going to look at it, I'm gonna, I'll find it. It's good. Don't worry. I mean, and there are uh, tokens, you know, that I'm late to find, of course. But this is the kind of stuff. So everyone thinks I want to see, you know, a coin pump. I actually, I mean, yes, coin pumps are nice. Who doesn't like making money? But the things I want to see are this. So I brought up um, the Uniswap liquidity pool in my energy web video a few days ago. And it had like no liquidity, no volume. This is awesome to see. This is not from me. I don't have $105,000 in a, a energy web. Um, this is from the community. Um, $105,000 in liquidity, $32,000 in volume, $96 in fees being made over the past 24 hours. Um, this is good to see you guys. I mean, when I made the video, I only had $1,000 in liquidity, like $100 in volume, nothing. So, the type of stuff I like to see is right there. Um, and stuff is being built, you know, regarding Energy Web. I said this in the video. You know, this is just the beginning, you know, of this pool. Um, we'll see others. And they already have the EWTB die pair, which is awesome to see. Again, low liquidity, no volume, but there's opportunities to be made um, when new pools get made and providing the liquidity. Because basically, you're taking this liquidity and volume that would have went into a centralized exchange, and it's going to the people's hands. That's the coolest thing. And regarding Energy Web's volume, you know, Liquid, Liquid has basically 361,000, Bitmark 214. But just a week, you know, old Uniswap pool is up to 32,000. That's awesome. What about the SAP and UBT integration in July? That's going to be awesome. Um, I've covered it multiple times. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. There's a reason I hold UBT. Totally not shilling. You should just look at its price chart and tell me you're not curious. Um, I don't really care about price charts, you guys. Um, pumps make me kind of look farther away, um, actually, because it's... It's hard to say. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a hard... Oh, it's so hard to say. Unnatural pumps are weird. I'll just tell you that. You know, when nothing was brought forward regarding research, you know, it's just... I don't... Where did the pump come from? Is my question. So, regarding Energy Web, um, this was a great article. Um... Because I've been actually doing some more Tesla research regarding Energy Web. And this HSV GTS um, on Medium, read this article if you want to see them, put it together the indirect connections to the Energy Web Foundation. And I've covered a lot of these, like their virtual power plant, the auto bidder, um, Tesla auto bidder program. But he had one thing that I didn't cover. So Holger Sch Schneewinkt. Holger Schneewinkt. He's the global energy, um, he's founder of energydemocracy.org and global energy prosumer ambassador. He's pretty big in the space. He basically put out this tweet, promising for prosumer blockchain and energy competition heating up. He put team Egwini at 10 CTATSO Swiss, um, Swiss, Swiss Grid, BMW, Mobility House, Nissan, Van de Brown, and blah. And then he had a second team. T 
Team Auto Bidder at Tesla plus question mark BCA D3A by Energy Web at Greed Singularity. Does Holger know more than we do? Probably. So the last thing I actually want to talk about, you know, is okay, you know, Tesla, Energy Web, that could be great things. I hope so. But the bigger thing is who is Elon Musk? So I got a video coming out on Monday. You guys better not miss. It's going to be an excellent one. Some deep research into Elon Musk and his he's Satoshi. This is one of the first times the topic came up was at Elon Musk. What are your standings on cryptocurrencies? Someone asked. And he said, well, now that Satoshi Nakamoto has been discovered, I guess it's Clay's closed. Smiley face. And he has denied these rumors, but Tyler has some research that's going to maybe show it. So don't don't miss that one. Where do I see Ave long term? Thanks, homie. Um, I see it doing well. I mean, it's pretty deeply ingrained into the DeFi ecosystem already. And you know, those OG players are going to grow as DeFi grows. So Hyper Network, Ave, um, Uniswap. I mean, all of the protocols, different tools. I mean, Centrifuge, they're all going to do great things, in my opinion. Do I think Bitfinex will be shut down? We will see. I don't know. I mean, there's interesting things going on that I've covered. Um, I mean, Stuart Hogner defending Bitfinex's counsel, you know. Um, one of the lead um, judges who was doing the Bitfinex case was actually just fired by Trump recently. I mean, it, crazy stuff's going down. I don't even know what's going on fully. I'm just making the connections, you know. Here's this connection. Here's Why are all these people connected? There's got to be a reason. And, I mean, hopefully with the video and research I do, I can find them, find it, what it is exactly. I appreciate your tip, Armando. You the man. Did you check out the blockchain documentary on Discovery Science this morning called Open Source Money, Blockchain, Bitcoin, and Dragon Chain? No, I did not. Um, I might look at it here soon. It's good to see stuff um, on mainstream um, television being put out there regarding blockchain. Sticking at my 1,100 level. Thanks, YouTube. Let's see if it, I'm still shadow banned. Yeah. Uh, bull honky. Is all I gotta say. The cult of Elon. Well, no, there's just some interesting things, you know, regarding um, what Elon has done. And, I mean, I make some connections that you've never heard before. There's a 2017 article that kind of um, accuses him of the same thing. And I cover some of that, but I found, found newer stuff, better stuff. And it has some to do with um, Tesla's newest um, AI chip they just put out. There's some pretty crazy stuff going down. What kind of car do I own? I own a very modest car. Um, I used to have a BMW. So I got a little crazy when I was younger. Um, decided I wanted to you know, be the flashy blah, blah, blah. -er, and that was stupid. Um, sold that thing and now I own just a Mazda 3. Modest. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Nate Deasy. Ike Oglamian, man. You're the man. Thank you for the $50 tip. You guys are helping me out with my shadow ban. Um, not a big fan of Pompliano. Um, unfortunately that... Unfortunate that Bill Burr and those guys are talking to a shithead in the space. Pomp is a shithead, I'll tell you that. He's defended CZ Binance, like, over and over. He'll defend the, the scum of the industry. Those guys need to know what's up. Heck yeah, Gabe. He Gabe used to have a Hellcat. Now he rolls in the Cobalt. I like going backwards in my cars. Um, I'm actually, my next vehicle I'm thinking about getting is a Tesla, uh, the new Tesla truck. 
I mean, I, I think it's badass. I love it. I will feel like I'm driving the Halo vehicle. <laughs> Cybertruck FTW. This is all I gotta say. And it's pretty good for, like, off-roading and stuff. Um, these are some of the images for, like, camping and stuff. Yeah, so if I'm going to go upgrade, I'm going Cybertruck. And I think Elon knows more, too, about, you know, what's coming. Um, because why'd he build it so freaking off rug rugged and stuff, you know, where you can survive in it? Because you're going to have to survive in it. <laughs> Well, too, um, when I did that research into Tesla's new AI chip that's coming out on Monday, too, don't forget that. Um, it made me bullish on Tesla um, and make me want one. It, it looks like the Halo vehicle, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm going to put me a gun on the back, big old belt fed, when Joe Jorgensen... Wins. I hope. What do I think about Matcha X, dot XYZ, Zero X's newest decks? I'm pumped on that. Um, I think Zero X should have done that a long time ago. So good to see that they're finally focusing on building their own in-house products. I mean, why not become an exchange? Is Elon Musk a hero of mine? Um, I'm not a hero, but I would say we're pretty similar. Um, Elon's better. Like, I bet Elon's like I'm. As you can tell, I'm not good with like words on the spot. I'm not. Um, I gotta think about stuff for a while, and that's why I'm good at writing scripts. Is because when I'm able to think about it, I can freaking put stuff down like how it should be said. Um, so very similar, like Elon said, he's better with, not very good with words, he's better with code. And Satoshi said the same thing. 420 Bob Bob, thank you for your tip, man. $20, you guys don't gotta do that. I wonder if they actually shadow banned me for talking about Joe. Because I know they don't want that. YouTube, I think, is... More leaning towards Democrat, but I'm not 100% sure. So they probably are pumped when I talk crap about Trump, but these videos they get mad about probably because they want me to be like, oh, Democrat, not Trump. Or they might actually might be happy about it because, again, like some people said in here, the third party vote is throwing away your vote, you know? So maybe they're thinking, you know, I'm convincing some Trumpsters to throw away their votes. But it's, I think it goes both ways. I mean, I hopefully I convince. If you're thinking about voting for Joe Biden, hopefully I convince you. If you're thinking about voting for Trump, hopefully I convince you. Appreciate your tip too, man. All your guys' is, Jesus, you guys don't need to stop. Check out Bollinging Motors truck. Nudies, dude. Who is throwing me a hundred bucks two times? Two hundred dollars, dude. You the man. I was gonna put Nudie's truck. <laughs> Bollinger Motors. Damn, that's badass too. I like that. Looks all old school. That looks beefy, too. I like it. It's awesome, man. I appreciate you, too, throwing the tips, man. And now you gave me a tip on a new truck, too. You're dope. I guess it's no big deal. The two biggest comedians in history might start accepting crypto at their shows. Come on, thank Pomp. He brings in exposure. The pump was... <laughs> T.D. McCartney, that pump was not because Bill Burr and the other guy had... Oh, my God. That makes my head hurt. I'm sorry. That was not the pump. 
<laughs> markets are so, so bigger than that. Oh, man. That is funny. Thanks for the laugh and the tip. <laughs> Can Chainlink reach 250 considering a $1 billion token supply? I mean, if trillions and trillions upon dollars are being moved through it, yeah, it's possible. But not any time in the near future, my friend. I'll tell you that. Possible in the far out future. Far, far out. You start getting swift transactions moving through Chainlink oracles. Oh, yeah, buddy. Thoughts on Bitcoin fundamentalists and maximalists? Um, I don't know. I mean, I love Bitcoin. I know what Bitcoin is going to be used for. There's a reason why Bitcoin is Bitcoin. It's the security, the proof of work hash, what they have built up. That is such a strong network that I don't think it should be changed because the value of what can be transferred to, through that is upon getting up to the trillions, and it will, and no other system can do that like that in that secure of a way. There's a reason they don't want to move to proof of stake because proof of stake not, might not be that secure. And there goes... There, there it goes. So it's good to see Ethereum testing out proof of stake and other... Oh my god, you guys. Stop tipping. You guys are being the excellent. Jesus. Revel de Bull. Thanks for all the value you provide to the community. Chico, the people's champ. Thank you, man. I try to. I hope you guys enjoy what I bring. Um, or, I mean, you wouldn't be tipping me if you didn't. But... Um, I'm going to try to bring it on a consistent basis. Um, last week was a little tough of a week because I didn't have, I mean, writer's block on a few, more than a few occasions last week. So if you guys keep watching and keep supporting, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> oh, Scott E.P. I read the first thing. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to have to answer this because this is a large tip. But it's Scotty P, dude. Scotty P, Chico admin, you guys. So definitely um, the best admin around. What coin should I buy at what price and sell at what price? Just kidding. Thank you for the huge info tip earlier this week. Effing huge. Love me some bridge now. So Scotty P, he actually took what I said to heart in the Uniswap video. And he's been looking for those opportunities. And he actually threw arbitrage... Um, I think arbitrage is what he was doing. We haven't discussed it fully. Um, he was able to come out with an extra like 200 and something um, energy web. I just noticing arbitrage across different exchanges, buying on Uniswap, selling on Uniswap. Boom. That's what I was talking about in the opportunities. Um, I wish I could have explained it to you guys in the video, but it would have took, you know, too long. And already in that video didn't do well because people didn't like the techie part of the Uniswap stuff. Um, one of my lowest watch time videos in a long time because people are just like, oh, tech stuff. You're not telling me a coin's gonna pump. I don't wanna watch it. <sighs> That's what I hate. I'm not gonna be Supo Man. Um, if you wanna go find your next Supo Mans, go look at some of the other YouTubers because they're coming. Um, they're starting to do new coin videos every day. Yeah, they want it. That's what they want, you guys. And I'm, that's not going to be me. No, Bitcoin SV is not the real Bitcoin, dude. Dang, pu plus 327 EWTs from Scotty. Oh, yeah, too. I want to um, let you guys know about the Chico chat. Um, if you guys want to come in, there is a new link. It is not the old link. Do not use that. Um, basically, it's in the description. It's a kind of a private group. So come join the chat if you would like to. Um, we talk a lot. I post all my new videos. I'm pretty active in the chat, actually, compared to other people. So definitely, if you want to, you know, Chat with me when I'm not live or whatever. Come join the chat. Lots of good stuff going on. We got a lots of lots of different characters too. So, Scotty P posting some good stuff. <laughs> what state are you from? Are you a proud American? 
Um, I'm from California, and yes, I am proud American. Um, I love America. Uh, I love the original, you know, founding, what America was founded on, um, but that has gone down the drain slowly but surely. I mean, even from when I was frickin' first remember, you know, 92, four years old, 90, through the 90s, um, we've gotten worse and worse and worse. Bad. Crypto Ganito, I appreciate your $5 tip, man. Have I ever experimented with Ampleforth? It's a mind freak. Love you, man. I've heard of it. Um, I haven't experimented with it. Um, I try to experiment with the most stuff I can, but literally writing and researching and doing the video, it takes up all my time. I mean, I wish I had time to sit down and learn about the, each protocol, you know, some of the um, lending stuff. I don't have the time. Um, I try to fit it in. Um, so People don't realize that. It takes me literally from 7 in the morning, and I don't get done um, until 8 o'clock at night usually. Um, and I'm still not done. You know, I'm still doing stuff even after that, but I'm not you know, necessarily on my computer. Um, yeah. Videos don't make their, themselves, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. We got some SV trolls. In. Dude, when are you guys going to go away? I mean, I use... There's a useful product. It's built. I mean, this works, but he's not Stoshi. I mean, you just got to do some simple research to find it out. And basically, like, the, the Craig stuff is like QAnon. I mean, they basically got a bunch of conspiracy people all riled up with stupid stuff that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> but they got a lot of them. Oh, Crypto Ganito. No problem, man. Thank you for both your tips. No, YouTube does not pay Jack McSquooty Booty. Um, not very fair to their creators. As you can see, I'm shadow banned. You know, they take me down live. Can't find my video even searching for Chico Crypto. What? And then we got Buterin announces giveaway. <laughs> yes. So basically what has happened is now the live stream giveaways, they have moved to ads. So they're number one. This is a scam. And now, since they've been taking down their live streams, they've moved to ads. But the effects of them taking down the live streams are still affecting us. Like, as you can see, my live stream is being taken down because they think I'm one of those. YouTube, come on. Do I trade my alts into BTC to build your BTC? No. I hold my BTC, I hold my alts, I don't buy to trade. I buy to hold, I buy to find a good project and hopefully in, you know, two, three years, the ROI is outstanding. A um, lot easier that way, in my opinion. A lot less stressful. I don't have time to trade. Like I said, I don't even have time to look into some DeFi protocols that I want to. Um, so I don't have time to trade. Like. Those YouTubers who try to say they're full-time traders are BS and trying to make content, too. Ross, thank you for the $5 tip, man. You guys need to stop tipping. Give If I if anyone didn't tip Joe or give Joe some money and you guys tip me. Hi, Chico. So all the money they're printing, it will eventually flow into crypto gold real estate. Why do you think there is a crypto... Why do you think there is a crypto crash coming before next bull run? Um, because the summer of euphoria is going to end. Um, it's not going to happen this summer, like I said. Um, but after election, if Trump loses, no matter what happens, I'm telling you, if Joe Jorgensen wins, which uh, highly unlikely, I just hope she gets a small percentage of the votes so libertarians can be on the debate stage. That is the big win we need. Um, I mean, it would still crash. Trump, I don't know what's going to happen because of what they did, but 
it might not crash because i mean as you can see they're holding on the markets right now um i mean they've wanted to go down but every time they want to go down big old liquidity pumps um and then biden you know wins it's whew. i still think it's going down no matter who wins i don't think you can print to save markets i don't believe in qe Real Bitcoin is an intelligence test. Nice one. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the 4th of July stream with Chico Crypto. Um, for those of you who um, are in the stream, so since the stream is shadow banned, you can't find it in any um, searches. I am going to be re-uploading the video as a regular video. It's a way to basically get the video in the hands to show people because it literally won't come up in searches. It won't come up in browse features. So no one knew is really going to know about this video when they need to. So I'm going to upload it as a regular video. I would enjoy if all you guys in the stream um, rewatched it. You know, you don't even have to watch it. Just put it on your computer and let it play. Um, yeah, you guys gave me 650 bucks this stream. You guys, Jesus. I appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Bill said, I believe in sex before marriage. I do too. I believe, screw whoever you want. That's what I believe. Screw whoever you want, how many other people you want. Just screw it all. Oh my God. Shane Light, dude. Did I say notifications were shadow banned? No. I got a notification for this live stream. <laughs> it is shadow banned. The only way, I mean, an easy way to check if a video is shadow banned, search by the person's name, Chico Crypto. If their video doesn't come up, especially their latest, it is shadow banned. I don't get how that's so hard for like some people to understand. Yes, you got the notification because it wasn't shadow banned when I went live. Come on. I'm sorry if I was a little jerkish, but I just... Come on, people, think. Oh, no, not a Peter Schiff fan at all, Tom Biddy. Jesus. JK no Cal made 30K with UBT. I owe you a keg of beer. Holy mackerel. Dude, congratulations on that, man. I'm glad you, um, you, you did well. Yeah, Jungle Jim, happy 4th of July. Martin's making money on Kusama. No problem, Jason. I appreciate all you guys. So, again, um, watch the video again. If you're um, a Chico fan, please, it'll help me out so much, especially them taking down my videos. And then um, follow me on all social media, if you kindly would, and join the chat on Telegram. A link for it is in the description. And I will see you guys um, Monday. Tune in for that video. Peace. Make sure I'm not missing a tip. Cool. Later, guys.